Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Tonight we're doing an ultimate feel good, feel great, self-care, self-love, skincare ritual. I'm going to be using products that just make me feel really good and really happy and really grounded, but whatever those products are for you is what you should feel free to use. And this video is really just a guide. It's just something that you can play in the background as you're doing your own self-care ritual if you'd like. I'm going to be starting with a really great cleanse. I'm actually using Demamiel cleansers for both steps. I'm starting out with the restorative cleansing balm, which is just a lemongrass just dream and um, it's a really plush kind of buttery balm I'm using it as a step one cleanser which is a little bit lavish and lush but um, I think it removes makeup beautifully obviously it's a little bit better as a second cleanse because it does contain such gorgeous ingredients but sometimes I can't help myself so I'm taking a little bit of this and and really massaging it into the skin this is my first step in reconnecting with my senses and really kind of getting everything going. For me, a deep inhale is an absolute necessity. I think it's the way to start everything off. Obviously, I'm really enjoying that um, and doing a really nice massage. So this first step will remove all of the surface debris, your sunscreen, your makeup, um, surface grime, pollution, anything that's sitting on the surface of the skin. That's what this step is really designed to do. Most days I would normally use just a very simple cleansing balm or oil, but when I'm doing a really extravagant, if you could call it that, ritual like this, I like to go for the best of the best and, and the products that just make me feel the happiest and, and really make the entire process as enjoyable as possible. I take this all over my face. I look like I'm pulling quite hard with my massage and I, I notice that when I watch myself on film. but. I use light pressure, I just sort of, my skin is jiggly and likes to move around, I guess you could say. Now comes the important part, the washcloth. So I use warm water, perhaps a little bit warmer than I should at times, but I love the comfort that the steam provides and I find that it does help the pores to quote unquote relax a little bit and uh, that way when you wipe all of the cleanser away, that little bit extra amount of dirt and grime and impurities and, and things you just really don't want on your skin before you go to sleep um, effectively wipes away when you just use a little bit more warmth. Um, I usually cleanse the neck, the back of the neck, um, my upper shoulder blades, and uh, behind my ears, just anywhere that's sort of exposed to the elements throughout the day. I like to wipe all of the grime away. The second cleanser I'm using is the Demamiel Pure Calm Cleansing Dew, which is rich with blue tansy and, and really soothing and calming and relaxing plant-based ingredients, and it's filled with gorgeous oils. I love massaging this on the skin. It has a really beautiful green-tinged kind of vibrancy to it. Um, it softens the skin, it calms any spots of inflammation that I've got going on, the ever important deep inhale relieves tension in my mind and I find I just feel a little bit more centered after I use it um, but beyond that it has helped to really soften the skin comfort it give it a gorgeous glow and it's great to massage with I absolutely love it for me atmosphere is very important so whenever i'm doing this ritual i turn on the pink lights in my bathroom light some candles i usually have some sade playing um, but i think creating an experience that's rich in sensory stimulation is incredibly important whatever that is to you um, just anything that makes you feel like your surroundings are in tune with the calm that you want to create for yourself now, the Demamiel cleanser does emulsify, but I still prefer a washcloth. I think at the end of the day, it's just the steam that makes me happy. The metaphorical representation of wiping the day away, for me, is really what completes the experience.
after I finished, my skin feels calm, it feels happy, it feels clean, most importantly, and um, I'm definitely ready to go in with some fabulous treatment. Welcome to my room. I'm so in love with it. It's my perfect safe haven. I love the decoration. The red lights are both inspiring and calming at the same time. I always have candles going and I just, it is the perfect space for me. So I'm going in with a little bit of Tammy Fender's Roman Chamomile Tonic, and I've been using this non-stop lately. I find it to be balancing, slightly hydrating, not in um, like a drenching kind of way, but I almost prefer that because sometimes all you want is balance. Um, it really has soothed irritation on my skin. It smells euphoric, um, and it's really great at toning and refreshing the skin, but not leaving it uncomfortable. So before I go in with a mask, I usually like to give my skin a really healthy dose of spritz or mist, and today I'm using Josh Rosebrook's Hydrating Accelerator, which is sort of a, a fail-safe for me. I always go back to it. I love it. My skin loves it. I find by doing this, it gives the mask almost a sort of boost in a way. It just sort of elevates the experience, and I find that most properties of the mask are slightly amplified when I use a mist. Today I'm using Pharmacy's Honey Potion, which has copious amounts of honey in it. So it's slightly enzymatic, it really kind of can improve texture on the skin. Um, honey is also a natural antibacterial, so if you've got any inflammation or active breakouts, I find that, at least on my skin, it helps to treat that. It's a massage mask, so as you massage it, it turns into a cream and actually warms up. And you do that for about two to three minutes and then you can just sit and relax for 15 to 20. Uh, my favorite pastime is obviously getting in a really nice Epsom salt or bubble bath um, and just relaxing. Again, Sade's Lover's Rock is usually playing at full blast and I'm just floating there in complete tranquility and treating my skin at the same time, which can only be a good thing, right? I'm so intrigued by the idea of human touch and its relation to human connection and especially kind of reconnecting with yourself. Even if you only have five minutes to do a self-care ritual once or twice a week, that's five minutes that's your time and nobody can take that away from you and you've earned it, so enjoy it. These next four minutes are yours. Whatever you like to do with them is up to you. You can fast forward, you can just let it play, but um, I'm just gonna leave this visual here, the red light, and uh, the music will just keep playing.
now it's time to remove the mask. I'm going to add a little bit of water to emulsify it, um, but there have been times where I've just taken a, a damp washcloth and wiped it away and it's totally fine. Um, I have also just splashed it away and that's nice too. Totally up to you. And the classic, where's my washcloth bit? <laughs> One of the things that I really love about the Pharmacy Honey Potion, among all the things that I love, is how good it makes my skin feel after I take it off. It's incredibly soft, it's incredibly smooth, slightly plump, slightly comforted, but it doesn't feel like there's any extreme residue left behind, which I really appreciate. Now, it just so happened my skin was really kind of craving the effects of Pharmacy's Honey Potion Mask, but any mask that will suit your skin type and your skin's concerns at that time will totally suffice. Sometimes I need something more purifying, sometimes I need something more calming. It just depends. Now again, I look like I'm using a lot of pressure, but I'm really not, and that's because I don't want to overstimulate my skin. I love a variety of washcloths, but the one that I use today I actually got from Target. So now I'm going to apply some products. I'm using the Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence, which I love, I always come back to. I finish multiple bottles. It's just, it's always good for me. I'm also going to use Vintner's Daughter because nothing makes me happier except the product that I'm going to use at the very end but I love this serum it's immediately transforming it gives you so much energy to the skin it makes you look a lot more revived but it's also incredibly softening it has obviously you can see deep aromatherapy benefits and it's just it it's completely transformational on my skin and every single time I use it my skin looks better either throughout the day or the next morning My favorite eye cream remains to be the Chanel Le Lift Crème It's just, when you use it consistently, it firms the eyes, it immediately makes you look a little bit more rested, it's not overly heavy, but it's also not wimpy and not hydrating. Um, there's no fragrance in it, it's great under concealer, it's comforting before you go to sleep, it's just perfect. Now for the cherry on top, May Lindstrom Skin, the Blue Cocoon. There's nothing, no skincare product in the world that means more to me because this is more than skincare. It's a hug in a jar. It's gotten me through so many difficult times. It's great for the skin. It does really calm everything down. If I've got any inflammation, it takes care of that. I'm quite anxiety prone and I have, um, I used to suffer from panic attacks. They've been a little bit less frequent as the years have progressed, but I still find myself running into situations that could be potentially upsetting and um, the Blue Cocoon has just helped me to find a non-traditional way of really soothing myself and um, taking away that feeling of um, just like internal uncontrollable vibration where you just feel like you have no control it soothes everything and it calms everything down and it for me it's just it's it's my medicine it's my treatment it's my everything applying the blue cocoon is a self-care ritual in itself and i take care to apply it on my temples my pulse points under my nose and just take a moment to reflect um i love the blue cocoon so much Now, oftentimes my self-care rituals will involve a bath, but I just didn't have time tonight. But I love using a really nice bath product or Epsom salts or anything like that. And then after I get out of the bath while my skin is still damp, I'll add a body oil. I wasn't able to take my bath tonight, but I still want to use my body oil. Um, I'm using May Lindstrom's The Good Stuff tonight, but any body oil that you have and love is more than perfect. Um, I have a lot of body oils that I tend to rotate 
The thing I like about the good stuff is it's very indulgent. There's a really strong cocoa aroma to it, so um, it's sensual, um, but it still has an elegance to it. If you notice, I'm massaging my hands. I was typing a like eight page paper before I filmed this, so my hands were a little bit strained. Um, so anything that's kind of stressing you out in your life is what I would focus on. You know, if you have been carrying a backpack all day and your shoulders are really tense, massage that area. Um, anything that you just want to focus on, it can be anything. Um, but I think paying attention to what is causing you stress in your life and addressing it is really powerful. And the last thing I do before I lay my head down to sleep is a really generous misting of pillow mist. I'm using This Works Deep Sleep tonight. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me on this self-care, skincare, feel-good ritual, and I hope that you're able to do your own version in the very near future as often as you can, and to the extent in which it makes you feel magical. You deserve it, you've worked hard for it, and it's a great way to really find your center again and, and just ensure that the next morning when you wake up, you know that you've had a really amazing treat that you worked hard for. So I will see you guys again very, very soon, and uh, let me know how you get on. Bye.